In this module, we will review creating a scan, starting with a brief description of the policies available, as well as the minimum inputs required to configure and launch your first scans. To get started, let's navigate to the menu bar by clicking on the three horizontal lines in the top left, and then navigating to Scans under Tools. Once here, select Web App Scanning at the top to get to your web application scans, and then select Create Scan in the top right-hand corner. You will be presented with four scan templates. Let's briefly go through each. The Config Audit Assessment sends only a few requests to the target and returns header and SSL or TLS vulnerabilities, and only lasts a few seconds. The Overview Scan crawls actively through a website, but returns only passively identified vulnerabilities as well as a sitemap. The scan is a full DAST scan assessment that crawls the same as the overview, but also launches tests to determine OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities, such as SQL injection or cross-site scripting. The last scan, the SSL TLS scan, looks at just that, SSL TLS settings, and is a subset of the configuration audit from earlier, and it's even faster and more focused. Each scan has its own pros and cons in terms of depth versus complexity. The config audit test has some pretty good bang for your buck, and that it's simple to set up takes very little time and provides some very useful information. So we recommend starting here to get a hang of it all. Let's dive in to look at the minimum requirements to set up and schedule your web app scans. First off, we will need to give this scan a name, such as config audit test application. You can even add a description to elaborate further. For example, let's say that I'm going to configure a schedule for a weekly. This is going to be on a weekly basis. Next, we'll want to put in our test target. For example, HTTP example.com. It's important to include the protocol in use, whether HTTP or HTTPS. The last required item, we will need to choose the appropriate scanner. The cloud-based scanners are hosted by Tenable and are available for each customer to use to scan their external facing sites at no additional charge. Linking an internal scanner and other more advanced settings, such as adding a schedule, role-based access control, or adding credentials, will be covered in another video. This is it. Now we can hit Save and Launch, or just Save for a later launch, down in the bottom right-hand corner. And after a few minutes, the results will come in, ready to view.